Good morning. I'm Lynn, and welcome to a snow-frosted day at Utopia Farms. Somehow when the snow falls like this, it muffles the sound and everything's quiet. Looks like a winter wonderland today. But we have work to do. So let's go inside and see what today has in store for us. Well, here's the mom with her twin lambs this morning. We just got to give her some milk. Both little lambs are kind of asleep. One's under there and one's here. And then this girl just had her lambs, so now she's got a friend beside her. Hi, you look like a Dorset. So she should be a lot happier with them beside her. But what kind of surprise do you have? They look lovely. Yes, they do. But wait a minute. No, it couldn't be. One, two. We weren't hoping for three, but we got three. And we got someone screaming back there because she was trying to steal one of these. And that's usually a sign that they're going to lamb soon, too. Oh, you're tired, honey. No wonder. Three extremely consistent lambs here. This ewe has, I just checked her records, and she's been a really prolific ewe for us. She had a single her first time, which we like because it gives them experience. And then she had, the following year, a single lamb in May, but in at the very last day of December, she had twins. So in that year, she had three. And now this year, she's had three. This is her third lambing. She's tired, poor girl. And we got a boy, the big guy here, who's a little bit bigger. That's a boy. And these two are girls. And they're registered Dorsets. Oh, they all just got up. And they're going to try nurse now, I suppose. I haven't topped them up with a bottle yet, <clears throat> but I might try after chores just to, because one of these is going to have to be a bottle baby. Unless somebody has a single that wants to adopt one. So on this side, we have the use with the lambs on that side and in this pen back here we have four dorset rams that are for sale and we've got someone coming around lunchtime to have a look at them he's he's been a really good customer of ours he basically comes every year it seems so hopefully he can find some nice boys in this group all the moms are waiting for a bale of hay to arrive. Are you guys hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> you don't know what to say about that? That's right, you're hungry. The lambs are eating their creep feed. There's a lot of them in here right now eating. They look in really good shape. And there's, a, of course, a whole bunch outside. Hey! And here comes 
across the hay. Hi you guys. Y'all coming out or are you staying in there? It's pretty bright out here. They don't seem to mind the snow. Because it's pretty deep, but we're kind of still at that freezing point. And we got someone coming over, but we would normally plow the driveway, but the ground is so wet underneath that it would probably make a real mud mess. So we're going to leave it. Hi. Uh, you are a special boy. Cracker. I think he is a cracker. Peanut and cracker. Here we are in... <coughs> Geronimo's group and he's checking out a U right now. He's got his lip curled. Don't know if he's doing anything, but he's still definitely keen to breed. So we'll have to see what happens with this group. There's a you standing right there. She's not going anywhere. Well, actually, two you standing right there with them. Such a beautiful day today. You know I don't like winter, but this is perfect winter. Looks nice, temperature is right. Here's the boys. Someone's been rubbing his head. Must be related to Ferdinand. Buddy. No wind today. Gonna feed these boys and the replacement ewes here some hay. And then we're gonna let these guys go out if they want. One thing with snow and sunshine and white lambs and shadows, getting the exposure right is very, very difficult. The camera, of course, with the really bright light wants to shut down the exposure. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Nah. 
I'm thinking he's a little Cracker Jack and maybe we should call him Cracker Jack or Cracker. That's Peanuts Lamb. I wish he was a purebred because I would have kept him for myself. I can't see any faults on that little guy. And that's not too common. There's always something you can pick away at. And these guys, you really have to wonder. They have beautiful hay in their feeder. And we got two moldy bales sitting there. And they want to chew away at that. Oh, and here comes our friend. Buddy, are you coming to join us for chores? Oh, the lambs have discovered him. Buddy, you got an entourage now. You do. Yeah, they're a little annoying, aren't they? The lambs are just a little rough with them because they, they're quite amazed by them. <laughs> oh, he's smart. He went in the jaws <laughs> and up onto the tractor. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Well, that's that's Cracker Jack. I was saying I can't find anything wrong with that ram. I would have kept him for ourselves. Except that he's a cross. <coughs> this one's uh, fidgeting around a little bit because if you look carefully, it's got a clump of mud between his toes on his back foot there. Can I walk around so we can see your, how you got some mud stuck in your toe, honey? Maybe I can step on it. Oh. But it's irritating him, see, because he's got a piece there. Now that's in his back foot, so he could lean down and pull it out when he's back in the barn. Buddy's back on the cat. Safer for him there. Anyone up there? This one over here is Cupcake. Chewy's lamb. Well, you'd never know it. I don't know what the fascination would be with this. Well, they are eating out of the middle anyway. Oh, that's a heavy one that just ran out. That one at the front there. Oh, that's pro probably Chris.
<laughs> Sheila, you're too smart for that. Oh, I see Buddy's now on top of the skid steer. Doing another barn check. The triplets are up. The twins are asleep under the feeder. Mom's lying down, which remember she wasn't laying down yesterday. These guys are having their first poops. And she's got a big job ahead of her. I tried to offer them a bottle already and they wouldn't take a bottle. I'm quickly going to look for someone lambing. Right now it's kind of siesta time and you can see that everyone's in their spots. Hi Herman. Hi buddy. One of you guys or two of you guys may be going to a new home today. Yeah. Hey Hermie. You're a good boy. You are a good boy. You're a good boy too. You are. You're both really good boys. Everybody is spread out. So I'll be looking for someone who's at the wall, maybe scratching as if she's gonna trying to dig a nest. I'm gonna be looking for right behind their rib cage by their hips. If they're gonna have a lamb imminently, they will drop their lambs to get them into position and it will leave like a hollow in their side. Like you can see this one here. She's pretty round and smooth. There's no hollow there. And yeah, uh, like, like someone mentioned the other day, it's real easy to see when they drop lambs in our group because they are in good shape. So a hollow is kind of evident. Uh, Here's a girl laying here with a big udder and She's quite rosy and obviously she's got a baby bump, but she's laying in the middle of the pen and she's also chewing her cud. So nothing happening there right now. Hi, you got a baby bump too in your taxol, but we can see it. We can see how bumpy you are. And this so far both of the sheep who have lambed have come out of this group. This is Hamish's group. We got a whole cluster of them at the back there. They tend to go on back walls, but when they're clustered like that, unless it's a first timer, it's usually not a sign because they like to be a little private if they can when they're having a lamb. But sometimes first timers get security from the group. So they're afraid they don't understand the feelings of what's happening and they'll actually go into a group. But more common is that they go separate and chew in the cud. They don't digest food and go into labor at the same time. Same in this group, everyone's kind of spread out. Nobody's doing anything unusual, except for the girl with the mark on her back. And we put a mark on her back because we let Handsome in 
not handsome, Hannah Boleyn, to breed her, and she let him. But then I thought she had another, and now she's flirting with Ferdinand again. So, it was only a few days ago that Hannibal was in here. And usually use only let rams breed them when they're cycling. And they only cycle for one day in 17 days. So she can't possibly be cycling now and when Hannibal was here. Or even at all, because to me it looks like she's got an udder. So I'm wondering if she's just a tease or a floozy <laughs> because I don't know why she's so interested in the rams. That is not normal behavior. I made her back laying down again after my check of the youth. Their heads are up and they look bright enough. So I'm going to assume that right now they're getting enough from mommy. Here's one of the twins. She's much happier now that she's got Another you beside her. Just in case he's coming with a trailer, Ernie scraped up a little bit of the snow. And there's a little clump right here that could be in the way, so. The problem is you don't want to scrape too much because you don't want the mud to all come up. You got more snow than you think. but way less than we used to get in the olden days. You know, it's wet snow. I was gonna kick this clump apart and it's like a solid ball. It's extremely heavy. This is snowman snow, for sure. Very sticky and heavy snow. Just gotta round up this little group. Hopefully no more come out of the barn. We're going to stop for lunch if we can get these guys in the barn. Come on, you guys. Head out. Come on. It's scary. I'm right here. Come on. There you go. There you go. Move it. Move it now. See more? Come on. We're going in the barn now. Come on, you two. In the barn. That way. That way. Join the group, buddy. So they're here now. We don't have any more lambs, but uh, we got people here looking at the lambs. So we'll go have a look at what they're looking at. They're looking at some of my babies. So. Hi, everybody. How are you, lad? Good. How are you? Good. You're on, you're on YouTube. <laughs> you guys are repeat customers. How come you keep coming back here? Because we like them. Good. They work for us. Yeah. She's advertising. <laughs> I'm trying to get some free advertising there. Raw, raw. The problem at our place that people have, I think, is that there's so many to choose from. So they're having a hard time choosing who. So these guys just bought four rams. <laughs> Got a long drive ahead. And a long drive ahead. <laughs> and Herman's gone. So I heard that place in the So it's pitch dark here. We had a very long visit. And I guess they had some tough decisions to make in picking some rams out. But they took four rams. Four nice ones. And they're off to start a new career, our rams. But it's dark now, so we're going to call out a day. And hope you join us again tomorrow 
for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.